These are like $40,000 sock knitting machines, and it was in pieces, you know. For making the sock, or because you guys were trying to like... We were l testing it. We were pushing it, you know, like, like 88 miles an hour, you know, back to the future. We weren't <laughs> sure what was going to happen, you know. So anyway, yeah, it kind of exploded, uh, sort of. And then the funny thing was is, you know, we're engineers here. We have a lot of really talented people who work here. and We do. So we called. There's only like one or two people in the whole country that service these machines, and they're booked out a ways. And we didn't want the machine to be down, so we called him up and said, hey, can we get you in here? And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm booked out for three weeks, you know. Uh, I can be there at this time. And BJ's like, yeah, we're not waiting, you know. So he was really pretty passionate. He's like, please don't get into it. You'll screw things up, you know. And BJ took that as a challenge. I think we had it up and running and making socks in like 48 hours. Nice. He did show up three weeks later. And we heard him on the phone talking to his boss or someone else, I don't know, but he's like, these guys are crazy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, they're, they're doing things with machines that I've not seen mills that have been around for 40 years doing. You know, we were interested in finding where the limit was, and we found it.